what I'm saying. If that was pinned. All right. Let's see. Hey, that might have been. That might have been the way it's supposed to be. Battery packs. What the actual? I've got other words that I'm rolling on my tongue, dude. In this situation, man, this is a joke, dude. Even these batteries don't fit here. There's other words definitely rolling on my tongue right now. And they got hell and stuff like that. Where the hell's the on switch? So, ESC is over. Oh, yeah, that's right, I remember. All right, let's take this thing out. Ah, it's got a couple more pounds to it. All right. Let's see what we got here. Remote on, truck. Switch is here somewhere. Where the hell's the switch? Right there. On. All right, eight beeps. How's this look? Oh, <laughs> stupid. It looks stupid, dude. All right, I'm gonna get my GPS unit. If you want, go over to the merch shop. You can't get this one because this was a special RC Gag Garage one. But good over your merch, my merch store. You can get these uh, encapsulators. Comes in a bunch of different colors, like black, orange, green. It securely um, securifies your uh, GPS unit, your data unit. I was thinking about making the other one because I see that a lot of people have the other style. And ooh, almost lost that. Oh, Jesus. These body clips would definitely go down there. Uh, other people do have the other style, but I've looked at it. It's kind of a pain. I'll figure it out, or at least I'll give it a shot. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the GPS unit back here, I guess. Oh, there's all kinds of places I could put this thing. I could put it right there so it gets crushed. I could put it in the front. Right there, too. I could put it everywhere. Put it in the back bumper. Look at that sandwiched in between. All right, I'll just put it right here, I guess. Ah, oh, dude, that's mint. See how that fits like that? Look at that, fully suspended. Turn it on, Sky RC. Make sure it's turning on. And... Things should have, yeah, we go, all right. All right, so, does it intuitively go on? No. That it kinda, uh, it kinda does. Yeah, I want to see somebody 3D print uh, things here. All right, we'll let this thing do the uh, whole screen record here. Screen record. Skip countdown. And it's, oh, it's already got five satellites. All right, so I'm just going to toss this in my pocket. Uh, you know what? What if I just hit track now? Start. <laughs> see? Telemetry. All right. Ooh, touchy. All right. It's definitely a fifth scale. Brake is a little lacking so far. What? My wheels are cambered out. I didn't even notice that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, they're like... <laughs> now wheel over there is warped. Alright. It's weird with the buttons. Yeah, see? Even with the earplugs, dude. Yeah, it's definitely a fifth scale. Wow, even with that earplug in there.
It's going straight, kind of, sort of. Boy, is this a beast. God, dude, why did I get up to fifth scale? <laughs> why did I get a stick at fifth scale? All right, so let's see. Stop. Man. Oh, what is it doing? It's drawing? What the hell is it drawing for? Why is there a pen on there? Get out of here. What the hell is the pen? What the hell? Cancel. What the hell is the pen? I could draw on it? Cancel. Okay. Stop. Read. <laughs> 31. All right, so these are 50C batteries. The 50C batteries, so it's not like they're super juice. Super juice. All right, let's see what we got here. Hopefully we got something. Back out, start. 12 satellites now. Steering. I don't feel like I'm impressed with the turn radius. That's the other thing too, because it's big, dude. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, it is a beast. <laughs> All right, turn radius isn't bad, but I think because maybe the servo saver needs to be tightened up. Yeah. Servo saver needs to be tightened up, it ain't enough, man. All right, stop, read. 50 C packs, 42 miles an hour. We'll give it one more shot. Probably will be able to get uh, 43, is what I'm guessing. So we'll start. All right, hear nothing, see nothing. Good, how are you? All right, stop, read, 43. All right, 43 miles an hour out of the box. All right, so 43 miles an hour out of the box. Uh, I think somebody did already do that. So 43 on 50 C packs. I just, I, you probably could get a squeak more out of the 100 C packs. The reason why I say that is because I've kind of proven it. I've proven it over other times where I've taken 120 C packs, stuffed them into something, and then even versus I think like a 60 or a 80 C pack, that 120 C somehow was able to give it just that much more. Now with these bigger with these bigger scale RCs, I'm not positive whether if that's the case. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of just run these batteries out and see like what it's like and maybe run it on the emerging grass destroy everything just kind of have a little bit of fun with it see if i can have some fun with it uh can't quit yes okay it goes straight man it really goes straight Oh, oh. <laughs> gonna shred the grass. So that air plug definitely did. Uh... Oh, yeah, the servo saver, man. These tires, granted, they're I think a little bit heavier.
Break kind of seems all right now. Yeah, definitely, this is going to be easy to get used to. Yeah, this will be easy to get used to. how I said I was done with fist scales. Jesus, this thing is lighting me up, dude. Yep. Oh my God, I love this thing. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. All right. I know this is going to sound weird, but now that this thing is warmed up, now that this thing is warmed up, let's just see. Let's just see, like, if it's got a little bit more to it. The way the center diff is acting, it's actually very surprising how it's being. I kind of, I feel like... I feel like it's it's what I expected, but I don't know, man. Uh, last speed right there. We will do the screen record. Start recording, skip down, countdown. All right, so last recorded speed read was 43 miles an hour. So we'll go ahead and hit start again. Like I said, this thing is warmed up now. Oh my God, dude. All right, you, you saw telemetry. All right, hear nothing, see nothing. Brake is good, actually. That should be good enough. <laughs> All right, stop, read. 43, all right, 43, consistent. All right, I just wanted to see. I was thinking maybe because it was uh, off, yes. See, what I was thinking was maybe because uh, it's warmed up now, maybe it would just react a little bit different. Oh, dude, I'm so glad I bought this thing. <laughs> oh, dude, I was literally so done with fist scales. But this definitely said, nah, guy, you, you ain't done. You ain't done with no sticky fist scales. <laughs> dude, it, it's just the picture doesn't do it justice, man. I got to get an actual photo because that don't do it no justice at all. All right, I'm just going to have some fun with this thing now. That whip around is meant to.
truck's almost as big as his car. Dude, I, I just saw it. Oh, the shred is. See, now if I had a dual rate, I could just dial it back just a touch. <laughs> yeah. I think I might want to try to see if I can just tighten up that servo saver just a little bit. Need to seed the lawn. Ooh, well, I hit my tree. Yep. Oh. Oh, I can't wait to take this thing to escape, huh? Dude, I already know how to drive this thing. How is that even possible? I didn't have these kind of smiles with my X-Max. How do I already know how to drive this thing, dude? It ain't skill, man. It's the truck. Yeah, it ain't skill. It's the truck. Oh, my God. I made a mess of everything here. <laughs> Little uh, four-wheel burnout. Holy crap, I don't even know how to explain the friggin' happiness that I got right now, dude. I really was done with fist scales. So, if you're done with fist scales, go ahead and buy yourself one of these. One of these guys, because it just might change your stinking mind. It really just might change your mind. So anyway, this is RC Guy Garage. This was just a very quick run of the Red Cat. Uh, uh, this was just a very quick run with the uh, Red Cat Fifth Scale Vigilante, man. Crap. Backtrack, man, is gonna get murdered by this thing. This thing is, is very agile. It's a weird thing to say, man. 
You know what it reminds me of? This almost reminds me of something very similar to the Habal MTX. So my MTX, man, from Habal, it's, uh, it's, God, the thing almost drives itself. See, the MTX, though, you, it's a driver's truck. This one is a driver's truck, but it's going to give you pleasure, dude. I <laughs> do it. I'm so happy I bought another fifth scale. <laughs> I really, dude, I was really done. I'm not done running this thing. Like, if you heard the language that I used coming up the stairs talking about this thing, like, I'm literally just talking to myself. My wife loves the moss. I don't want to wreck it. Just the way it flat jumps, man. I'll go easy on the moss. Oh! Oh, rocks. I really feel like I know how to drive this already. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's gonna make it up the stairs. Ah, oh, close. The Wolf Racing Truck makes it up those stairs. This thing is gonna make it up the stairs. Ah. I'm telling you, it's gonna make it up the stairs. There we go. I'm so psyched. Ah, body got a little. Whoosh. <laughs> Holy crap, dude, I'm psyched. I'm surprised these uh, 5,300 packs are lasting like they are. Oh, slow speed rollover. Oh no. What the hell just happened? I lost a screw. What in the hell? Oh no, dude. The screw backed out. Oh, it's right here. Ha 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 ha, dude. Between finding body pins and lug nuts and now steering screws. <laughs> dude, oh no. Oh no! Alright, well, we gotta put some Loctite on this, so... Uh, maybe that was a reason to tell me to stop because I'm getting too amped up. Yeah, guy, I think that's what it was. This is your one true love.